Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sri Guru Independent View online classes. My dear students, in the last class, uh, we had already discussed a sunny morning that too with the previous scene, I mean uh, the introduction of the characters and in what way uh, Dana Lara and Don Gonzalo visit both of them in a Madrid park. My dear students, today let us go to the next segment of the sunny morning. My dear students, a sunny morning by Sir Finn and Jokwin Alvarez Quintero Brothers. It is a one act play. One act play. One act play. Right, uh, my dear students, let's uh, discuss today. In this segment, uh, in the last class, we had already discussed till page number 39 and today we are going to discuss from page number 40. Dana Lara, well you subside then, when they were talking themselves, when Don Gonzalo was reading the book, she was interrupted. Intervening, intervening in the sense she was interfering. She was talking now and every then. Who? Janalara. That's the reason. He too could not say anything, but he went on saying, Let me read, don't disturb me. Meanwhile, she says, Who? Janalara says, Well, you subside then. You become strong. You become strong and or little move down, don't disturb. Subside in the sense here yeah, to become strong. I mean strong in the sense what sense? He has to become strong in reading, interpreting the words. Don Gonzalo says, but first I shall take a pinch of snuff. Takes out snuff box, will you have some pinch of snuff? My dear students, Don Gonzalo offers her the pinch of snuff. The pinch of snuff. To whom Don Gonzalo offers to Offers to Dana Lara. Dana Lara. And as, as he offers her to Dana Lara, Dana Lara says, If it is good, then only I'll have it. Fine. Don Bonjo says, It is of the finest, you will like it. It is rather finest in its taste, you will enjoy it. You will not neglect it. You will not disobey it. Right? Dalara says taking 
the pinch of snuff as Don Gonzalo says it is fine if you take it you will enjoy it she too takes it and she replies it after taking Tanalada says that it clears my head it clears my head Don Gonzalo says I am mine too even my head also has become active after taking a pinch of snuff over here. Alright, Don Gonzalo says, and my Donna Laura says, do you sneeze? She asks a question, do you sneeze? Don Gonzalo says, yes, Sonora, three times. Yes, both the lovers. Don Gonzalo and Donna Laura, they sneeze for thrice. What a coincidence, right? Here, Donna Laura says, and so do I. What a coincidence between both. I mean, at the same time, both the people here, they go for a sneezing. They'll go for a sneezing. And see, it, it makes truly freshened up with their mind. After taking the snuff, they await the sneezes. After taking it, they will wait for sneezing. Both anxiously and sneeze alternately three times each. They sneeze thrice, alternately one after the other. Don Gonzalo says, There I feel better. My dear students, in this page number, from third conversation, Dana Lara, if it is good to tell ninth conversation, Dana Lara, and so do I, what a coincidence, till that get it underlined. Don Gonzalo says there, I feel better. Right. Dana Laura says, so do I. Aside, the snuff has made peace between us. Pinch of snuff has made peace between them. Earlier, they used to express their anxiety. They used to express their sadness. They used to be annoying. But now, but now they do not say themselves that they are in an angry mood. Why? Because they have become closer and closer. It's because of a pinch of snuff. A pinch of snuff has united both the lovers here. Don Gonzalo says, you will excuse me if I read aloud. He's asking, if I read, will you excuse me? Shall I read loudly? All right, Dana Laura says, read as loud as you please, you will not disturb me. You can read as loud as you want. So, there will be no disturbance from your side. Don Gautel says, reading, all love is sad, but sad as it is, it is the best thing that we know. All love is sad in this world. See how Don Gautel interprets from the book, as he is reading now, all, all of his hands. We can't say that. Whatever we are having, whatever the love is present on this earth, everything is sad. According to Campo Omar, Spanish writers, right? That is from Campo Omar. Who is this? Sad as it is, best thing that we know, we know that which is 
the best thing. If it is sad, we should know it because we experience it. And through experience only we come to know that what is the best and what is the worst. Unless we experience, unless we come across an incident or an event in our life, particularly as he refers to the love, we cannot understand why it is sad, how it is sad. What for it is sad? The thought, General Lara says, ah, Don Gonzal, reading, the daughters of mothers, I once loved, kiss me now, as they would a graven image, an object such as a statue. My dear students, here a graven image, a graven image. An object such as statue that is worshipped, worshipped as God. My dear students, a graven image, daughters, how daughters of mothers, they are going to have affinity in between or among them themselves in the same way he just compares to the graven image graven image in the sense right uh, an object which is yes statue 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 it is compared as a god we worship the statue as a god many a times whenever we go to temple we even salute or we even prostrate at the feet of the statue itself, not to the living God. We believe that the statue itself is a living God because we have a strong belief. That is what, see, what he read here is the daughters of mothers. I once loved, see, daughters of mothers, as they love, as they have the affinity, as they have the, see, the nearness or dearness, in the same way, yes, they are compared, they are compared to the graven image, I mean, they love each other. Those lines I take it are in my humorous way, way in the sense, style. I take them as a humorous, see, humorous way. Why he takes it as a humorous way? Why? Because, see, you are worshipping, you are worshipping the statue, you are not worshipping the living body, living organism, living person. This is what he says it, that Whatever you are doing, this is truly a humoristic point of view. I mean, comic point of view. Alright, uh, my dear students, please get it underlined. Uh, this is Don Chalo. All love is sad to tell. That is from Camp Overs. Right. Don Gonzalo says, uh, this is over. General Lara says, Lomi, I take them so too. I mean, Dalara too says that. Even I don't take it. Comically, I don't take it. Funny. I just receive it with very much fun. I won't say it. I, we should receive it very much seriously. Right. Don Gonzalo. Next. There are some beautiful poems in this book. Here, 20 years pass. 20 years pass. It's a beautiful. 20 years pass. There are different poems. In this 20 years pass, gives us some knowledge. Among beautiful poems, please underline this conversation, 20 years pass. And people like this poem because it has got some ethical or some ethics or some moral values according to Mr. Don Gonzai, right? And here he tells that. 
Then the Lord says, you cannot imagine how it affects me too. See you reading with all those glasses. You cannot imagine how it affects. Right? Me to see you without, I mean reading with all those glasses, it will definitely affect. Yes, by reading it with glasses and it will have its visibility. If I use spectacles, then only I can find the best interpretations. Otherwise, I cannot. My dear students, next. Don Pontello says, can you read without any, I mean any in the sense without any spectacles? Don Lord says, certainly I can use, I can read the poem without using the spectacles. Don Pontello says, at your age you are jesting, jesting in the sense making someone to laugh. At your age, yes, you could. You could make it as a fun. Yes, my dear students, at your age I could read it. I mean, he is saying that uh, she is uh, younger to him. Right? Jalal says, pass me the book then. Takes book, reads aloud. Twenty years pass. He returns and each beholding the other exclaims, Can it be that this is he? Heavens! Can it be that this is he? Heavens! Is it she? Dana Laura and Don Donchalo as Dana Laura collects the book and reads 20 years past and she confirms that that is he who, who is none other than Don Gonzalo. They are referring, the reference is being made in this. In this one act play, they have taken the reference. Mr. Seraphim and Joaquin Alvarez Mitro Brothers, they have taken the reference of famous 19th century Spanish writers. Because, see, it, it, it has got the meaning. Here we find, here we come across how both the lovers are not ready to reveal the themselves are the real lovers, are true lovers, but still they are trying to hide their originality, but at the same time they are just conversing as if they knew earlier, but now they are somebody else. They do not know themselves who are they, but still they are becoming, they are, see we are finding the proximity, nearness between both the characters. All right, uh, Dana Laura returns the book to Don Gonzalo. As she reads it, then she returns it to Don Gonzalo. Fine. Don Gonzalo, indeed, I envy your wonderful eyesight. I envy in the sense I express jealous at your sight because you have wonderful eyesight. Who? Don Gonzalo is expressing jealous at Janalara's eyesight. Janalara says, I know every word by heart. You know, I can read as I read it, I'll buy it. And I know every word by heart. I just do not forget anything. Yes, underline this. Don Gonzalo says, I am very fond of good verses, very good. Very fond. I even compose some in my youth. Don Gonzalo is saying, Yes, I, I am very fond of verses. I am very fond of poems. I composed many verses during my youth. I mean, in my youthful days. So those cannot be forgotten now. Alright. Janalara says, Good ones, that's very good. Truly fantastic. Whatever you are, you have done and you are doing, it's truly good. Fine. Don Gonzalo says, of all kinds, I was a great friend of Astron Sida, Zorilla and Becker. Who are these? Astron Sida, Zorilla and Becker. Who are these, my 
my instruments. What are these? These few people. Yes. Estron Sina, Zorilla, and Pecker. 19th century. 19th century famous Spanish writers. My dear students, Estron Sina, Zorilla, and Becker. These three are the famous, famous 19th century, yes, or 19th century famous Spanish writers. And why we need to take their names for here? Why uh, these two writers, Mr. Sarah and I, uh, have referred or taken the reference of these three writers? Because they're all philosophical writers. They're all philosophical writers and they have published many works pertaining with the love stories and other moral values. That is the reason both the writers have taken the reference of these three and at the same time Don Gonzalo to love. He too loves. Fine. Uh, my dear students, please underline Don Gonzalo of all kinds to tell I first met Zorilla in America. Fine. Don Gonzalo says, of all kinds, I was a great friend of Astron Seda, Zorilla, and Beckers. In, yes, and others. And he says that he first met Zorilla in America. He first met Zorilla in America. General Lara says, why have you been in America? She asks him, why you have? Been in America. What has made you to be there? Fine, Don Gonzalo says several times. The first, several times. The first time I went, I was only six years old. The moment I went to, the moment I, had, the moment I journeyed to America, I was just six years old. When I went to America, I was just six years old. Janalara says, you must have gone with Columbus in one of his caravels. Caravels in the same boats. Caravels. Sailing ships, my dear students. Caravels means sailing ships. You would have gone with Columbus in his caravels means sailing ships. But I enjoyed, right? A journey through waters. You must have gone with Columbus. Don Gonzalo says. My dear students, please underline General Lara. You must have gone with Columbus in one of his caravels. Right. Don Gonzalo says, love fame. Not quite as bad as when I am old. I am not as old as others. I admit, I accept, but I did not know Ferdinand and Isabella. Who are these Ferdinand and Isabella? Ferdinand and Isabella. Who are these? Who are these, my dear students? The Catholic, the Catholic monarchs of, of Spain. The Catholic monarchs of Spain. Ferdinand and Isabella. These two are the Catholic monarchs of Spain. Of course, both the king and queen, they were lovers, yes, they both love when they talk.
talk about uh, Ferdinand and Isabella. I was also a great friend of Tom Overs. I was also best friend of Tom Overs. I met him in Valencia. What is Valencia? Valencia is the third largest city in Spain. My dear students, Valencia. Right, the bigger 
houses. Right. Valencia the Rizal Villa. General Laura says, Yes, enough. Not far from Valencia the Rizal Villa. Not. It's still there. Should retain memories of me. If still it is there, that villa, I could, yes, remember those memories. I could retain. I, I could recollect those memories where I had, I had already spent. I spent several seasons there. It was many years ago. It was near the sea, hidden away among lemon and orange trees. Laura is saying that it was hidden away among. Yes, lemon and orange trees. It was near by the sea itself. And they called it, let me see, what did they call it? Marisala. It is called as Marisala. What it is that villa is called as Marisala. My dear students, you should know this. Yes, Marisala. Don Gonzalo says that he surprised Marisala. He just expressed with full of exclamation. He doesn't know. Yes, he is expressing as if he were not at all connected to this particular villa or that region. I mean, very much surprisingly, he is replying over here or questioning. Yes. John Laura says, Marisela is a mere family to you. Do you know the Marisela? Or Marisela? Do you know the Marisela? Yes. Is it family to you? Laura is asking to Don Gonzalo here. Right? Don Gonzalo says, Yes, very family If my memory serves me right for me or for me, forget as we grow old. Yes, if my memory serves me right, let us forget it as we grow. Because as we grow, we forget it. We can't remember the childhood syllabus that we had already studied in LKC or LKC or first standard, second standard. We could only remember a few topics, but not all of them. Yes. There lived in that villa the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And again he says that. Yes, there was a beautiful lady. Who was that? There was a beautiful woman. Let me, let me see what was her name. Laura, 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 Laurente. Yes, Dallara says. She is surprised. Laura Lorente. Oh my God. Both of them are in exclamation mood now. They are excited completely. Why? Because they know each other. But still they are not trying to reveal with themselves. Or even execute with themselves. That they are the real or true lovers over there. This is truly humoristic, my dear students. Mr. Uh, Serafin and uh, Chokwe Alvarez Quintero brothers, uh, they have uh, written it in a very uh, comic way where students can really enjoy. I mean, you people will really enjoy it if you could read it with full of interest. That is very important here. Don Gonzalo says, Yes, they look at each other intently because they know it. They know where Marisela is situated. They know uh, where that beautiful woman was living. Yes, Dana Laura says, recovering herself, nothing. You reminded me of my best friend. You reminded me of my best friend here. My dear students, now Laura, she says, she, she introduces herself as her best friend. You should 
know this. And Gonzalo, what does he say? Let us continue. Don Gonzalo, how strange! Don Alara, it is strange. She was called the Silver Maiden. She was called, that beautiful woman was called as. Beautiful woman was called as the silver maiden. My dear students, this has been already asked many a times in the examination for one mark. Who is known as the silver maiden? From a Sunday morning, a one act play, Donna Lara is called as the silver maiden. My dear students, you should remember this and the uh, underline Janalara. It is a strange, she was called the silver maiden. Next, Don Gonzalo, precisely the silver maiden by that name. She was known in that locality. She was known, she had become very much famous in that locality. I seem to see her as if she were before me now. I could see her and it appears to me that she is right before me itself. At that window with the red roses, do you remember that window? Don Gonzalo is saying that always she used to be at that window. Yes, before that at the window with red roses. Do you remember that window? He is asking who? Don Gonzalo is asking to Don Lara. Don Lara says, yes, I remember. It was the window of her room. It was the window of her room. Whose room? Lara's best friend's room. Don Gonzalo says, she spent many hours there. I mean, my day. Don Gonzalo is saying that she spent, who spent? She spent in the sense, Janalara. Janalara spent many hours or many hours at that window, I mean nearby, that window with the red roses. My dear students, Janalara says, yes, I remember it was the window of her room. Don Gonzalo says, she spent many hours there, I mean in my day. I mean, in his youth, she too has spent many hours. Don Lara, sighing, sighing in the sense of uh, taking a long breath. I did not do. He, he says that she says, she says it. I mean, mind you in the sense, she too does the same thing. She too, I mean, she used to spend a lot of time nearby that window with red roses. My dear students, Don Gonzalo, she was ideal when we talk about her beauty here. How she was physically, how she was beautiful, externally, not internally that we are talking here. She was ideal, fair as lily, jet black hair and black eyes. She was fair as lily, jet black hair. Right? And black eyes. Black hair and black eyes. With an uncommonly sweet expression. She was truly boxum, winsome, winny, attractive, Enthralling. She seemed to cast radiance. She had such a brightness where no woman could compare with her beauty. Wherever she was. Her figure was beautiful. Perfect. Physically she was perfect. There was no... There was no complexity about her. Physical appearance. There was no difficulty at all. What forms of sovereign beauty God models in human clay? Sovereign means excellent. 
my dear students sabre means excellent yeah excellent quality remember excellent quality what a sabre i mean what an excellent quality she was with her physical appearance beauty god models in human clay what forms of sovereign that beauty was made by yes god in the yes human clay human clay the sense in the human form in the human incarnation in the human form she was made so much beautiful where nobody can compare with her beauty Obviously, she was a dream. Don Gonzalo is so truly describing the beauty of Donna Lara, my dear students. Underline this conversation completely. Donna Lara says, "Aside, if you but knew that dream was now by your side, you would realize what dreams come to." If you would realize it, what dreams come true now? Aloud, I mean loudly. She was very unfortunate and had a sad love affair. She was not fortunate, sir. She had a sad love affair. Though she was beautiful, but was she without any? Affair with anybody? No, never, not at all. She had a sad love affair with whom? Yes. Now next, Don Gonzalo says, very sad. They look at each other, very sad because they know each other, but still they don't want to tell that they were the true lovers. My dear students, next, Don Lara, did you hear of it? Don Gonzalo says, "Yes." Dona Laura says, "The ways of providence. Providence means long sight. Providence means long sight." My dear students, the ways of providence are strange. Here, see, uh, the future itself is. Totally strange, as Laura says to Gonzalo. Don Gonzalo says the gallant lover in the same affair. The gallant lover. Don Gonzalo says the gallant lover. Gallant in the sense brave. The gallant in the sense brave. Brave lover. This gallant lover was in the same affair. Don Laura says. The duel, duel in the sense, the fight between two people for a particular cause with weapon duel. This is what you should. 
should remember my dear students over here yes next Yes, every morning down the rose path under her window and tossed up to her balcony a bouquet of flowers which she caught. Dana Laura is saying, underline my dear students this conversation completely. Yes, your, your cousin, Gonjaro's cousin, your friend used to come every morning near by the window on horseback and he used to come in the morning he used to toss up the bouquet of flowers at the balcony where she used to catch them all right don gonzalo says and later in the afternoon the gallant horseman would return by the same path and catch the bouquet of flowers she would toss him am i right don gonzalo is saying yes in the same afternoon he would come nearby your window and he used to yes catch the bouquet of flowers as her best friend used to toss up them. This is what they had, the wonderful memories of their youth as the true lovers. But still they are not revealing it. My dear students, next. General Laura says, underline my dear students, uh, Don Gonzalo. Page number 43, uh, third conversation. From last one, two, three, three conversations to be underlined. Danalara says, Yes, they wanted to marry her to a merchant whom she would not have. They wanted to marry. Actually, at her home, they, they were not, they did not have any. I mean, they were not interested to marry off this woman or girl to any other person. Rather than a merchant, actually they were interested to marry off to a merchant. They wanted to marry her to a merchant whom she would not have, I mean, whom she would not love at all. John Gonzalo says, and one night when my cousin waited under her window, one night when his cousin, his cousin in the sense himself, when he waited under her window to hear her song, one night he waited under her window, he wanted to listen to her mellifluous or melodious song. This other person presented himself unexpectedly. The other person Yes, I mean the merchant who was supposed to be married off to her best friend, I mean Laura. There was a duel between both. There was a fighting between both the people, between a merchant and his cousin. My dear students, there was a duel between the merchant and his cousin. So uh, that will be continued in the next class. Hope uh, you have enjoyed today's class and the next segment of this one act play, A Sunny Morning, will be continued in the next class.
thank you very much for listening today's class and uh, if you like sri guru independent you online english classes please keep subscribing thank you thank you very much